This week we start out with a stroll down the beach walk. Probably the best one we've ever been to. Then we'll just keep adding to the list of things we love about Miami Beach. We are total nerds for movie filming locations. Very first episode of Miami Vice. Okay, you ever see Scarface? I need this today. <laughs> it's nice that all of the light crustaceans are different designs. Four years ago, we took our first cruise and it came right out of here. We've been having problems with the mass fog in our glasses, so I've got to try it. I'm craving that. <laughs> so fire up the Rolls Royce and let's get to it. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Thirteenth and Ocean from the very first episode of Miami Vice. Five thousand street corners in Greater Miami, and Gumby here's got to pick ours. This South Beach beach walk, I'd say, is probably the best one we've ever been to. I like it's wide and it's very entertaining. Definitely entertaining. <laughs> Just how close are we to the beach? Come out this door and go down to that street. Go down to that corner. Go around that corner, flip flop across the ocean drive, stroll through Loomis Park, follow the not so yellow brick road, and try not to get hit. Oh yeah, beach patrol. Right over that hill. Well, that's not gonna work. That's better. Today. <laughs> Look at that water. It's crystal clear today. <laughs> so any second thoughts you might have had about coming to South Beach for a while? Oh, uh, ha, hi, I'm just spacing out looking at this beautiful water. So the water's beautiful. There's not that many people and the weather's great. If you go from a low angle, it looks like it's crowded, but seriously, there's like 50 feet in between most of the people that are out here. You don't have to be close to anybody. It's perfect. And you know, it's 80 in January. <laughs> or different designs and, different, and colors. They even have which street you're on, so you don't get lost. This one looks like a Winnebago. This one reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. What do you think, Lighthouse or Cat in the Hat? We're gonna try and get this giant barge coming out of the port. Ago, we took our first cruise and it came right out of here. Come on in, he says. It's easy, he says. Time flies when you're having fun, baby. <laughs> and there it probably sits. You can see a lot of cruise ships over there. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the beach. You know we are total nerds for movie filming locations. Kate, you ever see Scarface? I saw it a long time ago and hated every minute of it. She's almost perfect, almost. <laughs> Check this out.
These are the actual stairs filmed in Scarface, which coined the immortal line, Chi Chi, get the yayo. <laughs> Chi Chi, Chi Chi, get the yayo. This is CJ's Crab Shack, and it's always on everybody's list to eat there, but it's a little like, too expensive for us. problems with the mask fog in your glasses so we went to Lululemon the lady had one and she raved about them oh that's an interesting material these are totally adjustable so here's the top oh you might, might want to rethink that <laughs> how about if you put it on right here's the bottom here's the top oh those are snug they're soft. It'll be interesting to see how they are outside. Um, but they're pretty comfortable. These masks were $10 a piece. They come in two colors. Well, at least the store had two colors, which was the rose color and black. We'll let you know how they work after we wash them. So here's the lowdown on the Lululemon masks. I love the feel of the mask material on my face. These straps are wonderful but you can't breathe very well through it and it fogs up your glasses. I did even buy some of these little strips to put on them, which did help the fogging of the glasses, but still, I would not recommend this mask. But I love these because we put them in some of our other masks and they're fantastic. I got these on Amazon for $6 and there's 100 of them. I love that you can hear Lamborghinis revving their engines outside. We keep passing by this place. I've got to try it. I'm craving Mexican food. <laughs> Get a job. Gracias. Luego. Gotta take this home. Nachos. Just do those on extra. <laughs> oh. No, that's my rice bowl. <laughs> These are the nachos. Yeah, we had two. I got. I saw them and I couldn't help myself when somebody else ordered them. And the last one. Christmas flautas. Those are small flautas, but they come with rice and beans. So that's a plus. Okay, let's try. Nachos with chicken. Mmm. Homemade tortillas. That's really good. And the crappy cheese. I love the crappy cheese. They're good. They don't have a ton of flavor, which I'm surprised by. They're, but they're good. Let's see what the rice bowl is. I got carne asada and the rice bowl is pretty much what you think. Mm, that's good. I'm trying your closets. Those are so small. Wow. Mm, a little sour cream. They're all good, but they don't have that extra, they're all a little bland. But we'll fix it up with salsa. I give it a solid seven. Yeah, good. <laughs> so those of you who have been watching our channel for a while know I love walking on the beach and finding treasures. I found a quarter and I found these bangles. Turns out after you clean them up, they're real silver. That's quite a find. Look at you, treasure hunter. <laughs> I guess this is what they mean by high rent district. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Pelicans and they're here. For our next market tour, I'm gonna go to Meridian Market, one of my favorite local markets. She gave us a ton of food. Let me know how much food we got there. Girl twerking in a Mustang, it's nonstop.
keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>